strange game indeed between Wichita and New York. And what you saw were some stalling tactics used by the New York Arrows, and in particular by Shep Messing. Joe, Shep just stood outside the penalty box with the ball for what seemed like an eternity and just tried to slow down the attack of Wichita. Uh, it's a real shame to see this sort of thing happening in a game. Shep Messing has never done this before in his career in the MISL, and I'm sure he's never done it in his outdoor career either. This is a tactic that has obviously been put on him by Joe Matchnick, who is, was uh, in charge of the referees, but is now somehow managed to get the coaching job in New York. Uh, it's really sad. It kills the game of indoor soccer. They did this tactic, and it, later in the game, it really began to take an effect. And it re the, as you saw there, Jurgen got very frustrated with this whole thing. Well, he did. And right after the Kim Rotfeld goal, Jurgen does that little dance out front and says, "Hey." I don't like the way you guys are playing at all. And now he and Chef Messing square off. Jurgen's not done at all. We might explain there's been a rule change as a result of the delay tactics used by New York. The rule change is the keeper now has five seconds, like always, to get rid of the ball in his own area. But then outside the area, he has only 10 seconds. Val Cooks is saying, come on, let's go. Well, enough of that. The Wings won by a score of 4-2. to two. Then we want to show you one more thing. And this is something that I know you've all been waiting to see once again. First, the initial save by Mike Dollar, and then here it comes. Wichita versus Baltimore, Andy Chapman versus Keith Van Aaron, and it's in the net. That's incredible. That has to be the longest goal in MISL history. It was an amazing play, and the crowd at the Kansas Coliseum that night just absolutely ate it up. They loved it, and so, as you can see, did Andy Chapman. The crowd just went crazy out there. And we just were amazed for what seemed like about two or three minutes, the crowd just stood up and cheered. They couldn't believe it. Let's take a look at it again from this angle. And from this angle, you'll be able to see it about as well as anything. Van Aaron gets caught up around the top of that penalty arc. And Andy Chapman quickly looks up and sees him. And then he burns him. Great vision by Andy on doing this. Keith Van Aaron, uh, has appeared to be playing out of his goal quite a bit these days, and, and Andy really punished him for doing that. Maybe he'll stay on his line a little closer now. Again, the Navy band performing here at halftime. Well, right now, I'm sure Roy